All right, groups, here we go. Uh, one quick story. So I got Erica a puppy for Christmas this year, most precious creature ever. And um, her name is uh, Lady Violet Shadowfax, Nana Folkers. We call her Nana. I think Peter Pan. She's going to be a big dog. But um, just a little puppy right now. This story has a point. Um, and the other day, we, we were at the high school for a, some sporting event. I, that's what we go there for. And we were at the high school for a sporting event. And Erica is on the phone. And she calls Josh. And she's like, hey, make sure you give Nana some water and let her out to pee and then put her back in her cage. And I'm like, we need to clarify that that's a dog. <laughs> not one of like, you know, not a human. <laughs> Is Nanners out? So I, yeah, I was just like, <laughs> yeah, it's just things you never think of. Like, you know, like, <laughs> I mean, you're in my mom-in-law's small group. It's not funny, is it? If like, Nana doesn't go in a cage. But uh, Nanner Pants does, or with her little puppy teeth, Nanner Fangs, as I've been calling her. All right, let's dive in. Kids, your questions, you're up first. Here we go. Think about a time over the last year where you were giving something to do that seemed really, really hard. What was it like in the moment where you realized you had to do it? What was that like for you? When Daniel doesn't know what to do, who does he go to? Who does he go to and what does he ask them to do? Question number three, how, what do you do when you are faced with something that is hard to do and how does Daniel's example help give you maybe an idea of, of some of the ways you could do, uh, go about seeking help? All right, kids, hope you had a great time in groups. Enjoy being with your friends. Thank you for taking part in this, and we'll see you on the flip side. Have a great week. All right, grown-ups, it's your turn. Let me begin with question number one. What has been a moment in your life that at the time it felt impossible for you to get through. I think you could have some great discussion around this. I'm guessing whatever you just described, you had support in it. You had a, a group of people or something that supported you through it. So question number two, what or who got you through that season of life that seemed impossible? Question number three, take some time and let's look at Daniel. What did Daniel, when Daniel is faced with an impossible task, what is the first thing that he does? What's the first thing you do? Oh yeah, by the way, this is question number four. What's the first thing you do when you're faced with an impossible task? All right, groups, have a great week. I hope this time uh, in the Word of God has encouraged you. I know there were just a few questions out there, but the reality is for you to connect and grow, it's opening up your lives, sharing your lives in the Word of God together. I'm so glad you're a part of groups. It is what we do at the Foundry, and we're thankful that you took the time to be a part of this. Have a great week. Thanks for joining us. You can stick around if you want for the group buy.
so the group vine this week is to just kind of give you an idea of where we're headed in terms of series and teaching. We've been in the prophecy series, and the reason we did that is we wanted to make sure we communicated clearly what prophecy was, what the heart behind it is, and what God uses it for from our understanding in the biblical context because we'll be dealing with the book of Revelation in the coming two months and looking at it um, really through the spectrum of the seven churches in Revelation. It's going to be a great series and a great time. We're calling the series, uh, so we've been and listen. now we're in Believe. Hang on, I'm getting a phone call. So we're going to be diving into the book of Revelation. And the book of Revelation is, it has so much imagery. It's a prophetic book. So what we wanted to do is take listen, learning to tune our ear, and then we're going to dive in to believe and see what the Spirit is teaching to the churches. We're excited to have you jump in and be a part of this. Thanks for being part of groups, part of devotions, part of this worshiping community, and living life on mission with Christ. We love doing this with you. Have a great week. 